What's up everybody, welcome back to another video. In this tutorial, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys on how you can make your very own intro for your YouTube channel. Simple and easy. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you guys are gonna wanna do is go ahead and open up the link in the description and it's going to take it to a site called Panzoid. So once you guys are on Panzoid, go ahead and scroll down and find the template you guys like. Now, if you're like me and you don't want to use the cliche template that everybody uses, all you guys got to do is click on a community templates. This is a new feature that uh, Panzoid implemented on their site where when you go ahead and click on it and you guys click on leave, you guys are going to see a whole um, gallery of uh, templates you guys can choose from. So for instance, I'm going to go ahead and click on show more underneath popular and you guys are going to see there's pages and pages of pages of templates for you guys to pick from. So with that being said, go ahead and find something that you guys like. So I'm going to go ahead and go on page 2 and find a template that I like. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this one because it matches the color of my channel. And click on open in clip maker. Now once you guys got that done, you're going to see uh, the intro will load up in just a second. And here it is. It's going to say name. We're going to go ahead and change that to your channel name. But if you guys want to go ahead and preview it to see what it looks like, all you guys got to do is click on this little eyeball right here, the toggle render preview so it's red, and click the play button. And there's how your intro will look like. Of course, it's not going to say name because of course we're going to change it. That's what it looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and pause that. All right. And let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you guys want to do is click on this little uh, check mark with the box where it says basics. Click that. And under video resolution, click the drop down menu and make sure you guys uh, click on 1080p or 720p. It all depends on what you guys record with. So for instance, all my videos are on 1080p, so I click on 1080p. If you guys record 720p quality, uh, go ahead and put 720p resolution, alright? Simple as that. Now where it says frame rate, uh, it's going to say 30 and 60. I'll leave mine at 30 because all my videos are rendered out in 30 frames per second. Uh, you guys can do the same, just make sure you guys find the right one, it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to go ahead and click on 30. Alright, now that we got that done, here's length. This is how long your video, uh, your intro is going to be. For instance, mine is 9 seconds, uh, that's the default. You guys can put 9 to 10 maximum. Do not have your intro longer than 10 seconds because you're going to irritate the hell out of everybody and you don't want people disliking your video and leaving a channel and losing a potential subscriber because your intro is too damn long. Trust me, I see that all over YouTube. People, I've seen a guy with like a 25 second intro and like a 50 second intro. That's crazy. So leave it at a good number like 9, alright? So once you guys got that done, go ahead and click right here where there's a cube. It's going to say objects. Click this right here and where it says text, click that. And this is where the magic happens. You just change your own channel name. So for me, it's Croat Code. I'm going to go ahead and type that in caps and hit enter. And there it is, Croat Code. So let's go ahead and uh, play the intro one more time. I'm going to go ahead and mute this. So let's go ahead and play it. Right eyeball, click the play button. And here's how it looks like, right? That's how the intro is going to look with my name. Of course, you guys put your own name. And bam, that's it. All right. Now that we got that done, uh, you guys can also, if you want to, uh, put a texture in your text. So... If you like how the text looks, if you like the color, you guys can leave it at that. So be it, alright? But you guys can also get a little bit more creative and put like a texture inside the text. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, let me go ahead and show you. If you guys, if I zoom in, you guys are going to see here's a blue text, right? Um, blue color. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll down and find where it says texture and click select. You guys can go ahead and go to Google, type in uh, grunge backgrounds or abstract textures. Just look up textures on Google. Download the texture image and just click open and now you guys are going to see the text has like a texture feel to it, right? Now it may or may not look good, it depends on how you guys put it. This one's decent, I mean it's alright, this is just for a video example, so I'm going to leave it at that, alright? Now let's say you guys want to go ahead and add your own music, you can do so. Just click right here where it says audio and select the audio file and go ahead and get a song, I don't know, wherever you guys get it, Google, YouTube, whatever. Find a song track you guys like, go ahead and open it, and you guys can put music into your intro. All these intros already have a pre-built uh, soundtrack inside of them, so you guys don't have to worry. A lot of the soundtracks in the intros match perfectly, but of course not everybody's gonna like it, so you could change it and do all that good stuff. Alright, now the last thing you guys can do is go ahead and click right here where it says download. It's gonna have a little down arrow with the line, click this button. And where it says mode, you're going to want to click the drop down menu and select the best quality, alright? From there, just click start video render and bam, we're done, that's it. 
your uh, intro is going to render out. It's going to take us several minutes. I would say like two to five minutes and your intro will be done. And from there, you guys can go ahead and put it in your YouTube videos and all that good stuff. So just let it render out. Okay, once your intro is done rendering, go ahead and click on download your video and your intro will be downloaded. Just give it a couple seconds and there you go. Clipmaker.mp4. So let me go ahead and play that. You guys are going to hear it. Here it is. And there it is. That's the intro. That's how you guys make a basic and simple intro for a YouTube channel. Uh, and with that being said, make sure you guys drop a like below. Click that subscribe button. I know a lot of people have these intros on YouTube. So what I'm going to do is later on make a more advanced tutorial on how to make a better intro. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. This is Karai Code. And again, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time.